All right, let's show you how to take this data here and turn it into a stem and leaf plot. Now, this is what we're doing. We're taking each data value and splitting it into two parts. One part is called the stem, the other part is called the leaf. So to give you some idea of how these numbers are split, like the number 46 here, it is split into two parts like that. So the four would be the stem and the six would be the leaf. And then our other data value here would be split like this. So that three is the stem and one is the leaf. So it's pretty clear to you how to split these numbers that are two digits, but what do you do about a number that's three digits, like 100 or 101? Where do you split it? Do you split it here or do you split it there? What you need to remember is the leaf can only be a single digit. So that's why for this number 100, we need to split it right there so that 10 is the stem. It's okay for a stem to be more than one digit, but the leaf would be zero because it can only be one digit. And likewise for the uh, data value 101, if we're gonna split that, it would have to be split like this. Now, so that's what you're doing to each data value. And you put your list of stems here. So it helps to note, well, I need to know my smallest data value. So I know where to start with the stems and you would continue on. Uh, we look in here and you're trying to find the smallest data value and it looks like it's 31. So I know my first stem would be a three. So I could put a three in there and what I can do, if I had all of this data sorted, it actually makes the workings of making the stem and leaf easier to do. So I'm gonna show you how to use your TI-83 to sort the data. So let's turn this calculator on. If I select stat here, and then one for edit, well, if you did the previous video of learning how to make a histogram, you already have all this data already entered into list one. So that's great. If you don't have it in there yet, well, why don't you go back and look, watch that video for histograms and it'll show you how to enter this data. In. So I won't repeat that here. Um, but let's make sure I've got everything made up for that histogram. I press the yellow second key, the Y equals key, Plot one is turned off, all the others are off, that's good. I select one, it's turned on. The histogram is selected. X list, telling it the data is in list one, frequency set to one. And then we can press zoom and nine for zoom stat. And we have this. And this can be adjusted too by selecting the window key and changing these values. But for now, Oh, notice I press the yellow second key and then the mode to quit. So press second quit anytime you want to get back to this home screen. But let's sort this data. How do we do that? Well, click on the stat key. Notice choice number two, sort A, which stands for sort in ascending order. So let's press two to select that. So it takes us back to the home screen with sort in ascending order and it's waiting for me to tell it which list the sort. We want list one. Notice L1 is in yellow here, meaning we have to first press the yellow second key, then the one key. That puts list one there. Now press this right parentheses and hit enter. Wow, it sorted pretty fast, didn't it? Let's see if it really did. Press the stat key, select one for edit, and look at that, it is all sorted. I see the smallest data value is 31, next one's 46, and I can scroll on down, and it's helpful to make sure I can easily see, ah, the largest data value is 101. Well, you know what I can do is this. I'll go ahead and put in all of my stems. So as I know they start at three, and you never ever skip a stem. 
because you're going to see that would distort our stem and leaf plot once we get this all done. So I'll continue on putting in all these stems from 3 to 10. There we'd have them. Now, let's go back to the calculator here. And we're just going to go down our sorted list and put in all of our leaves. So for the data value 31, you know, we can see that 3 is the stem, 1 is the leaf. So let's put the leaf over here of 1 there. There's no other 30s. The next data value in our list is 46. So I go down here. 4 is the stem. 6 is the leaf. What's our next data value? 55. 5 is stem, we have 5 is the leaf. Our next data value is a 56, so we put a 6 here. So you see 5 is the stem, 6 is the leaf. We have no more 50, so we go down to the 60s. And I see I have a data value of 62, and a data value of 63, and a data value of 67. Do you see how we're just putting in the leaves here for all of the 60s? I gotta scroll down my list now. Um, okay, so those are the 60s. Now we're gonna enter in the 70s. And I see I have a 72, a 74, another 74, a 78, and a 79. So now we're ready to enter in the 80s. So I go to my calculator, go back to my sorted list. And I see I have an 80, an 83, an 84, another 84, an 85, an 88. I gotta scroll down and see if I have more. Oh, and there's another 88 I see there, so I better make sure I get that in there. And now we're ready to do the 90s. I have a 91, 93, a 94, a 98. Scroll down my calculator. And I see I have a 99 I got to get in there. Oops, let me make an adjustment here to my stem and leaf. See, it's very important, we're going to see, to make sure these line up so we don't distort the shape of this. So I put in my 99. And now for the hundreds, there's a 100 and a 101. And we're done. Now, when you look at this, turn your head sideways where you turn your head towards your right shoulder and don't these look like bars of a histogram you can see the shape of it just like you could the histogram if i go to my calculator click on that graph back when we have you say well it doesn't look quite the same well remember we can press the window key and Notice that each of these bars are basically are intense. Why don't I make X min 30, X max 110, and X scale determines the width of each bar, make that 10. Y min is zero, Y max. Now remember, what is the most data values I have in each of these bars here? Why well, this has seven, so I could just make this eight. Everything set? Let's click on graph. Now, doesn't that look very similar to this as you look at the bars? Now, this is why it's so important that you get these digits to line up so that you don't distort the shape. Also, it's important, for example, if let's say we didn't have any 40s in this data value, and if that were the case, then this would just be blank like this. Whoops, let me make that adjustment. So you see there's no 40s in there, but you still, you do not skip that stem. It's important to do that because that allows you to see if there's suspected outliers. You can see, hey, this data value is separated from the others. It gives you an idea how far away an outlier is from the other data values. But since that's not the case, we should put that 6 back in. But you want to make sure that these digits line up and you don't skip any stems. Also important, you start with the smaller data values, the smaller stems, and work your way up. Otherwise, you're going to get left skewed and right skewed confused with each other.